Guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a good one for you. What you're about to watch is some footage that we thought was lost and gone forever. I'm telling you, this hard drive literally vanished into thin air and we just thought, well, write it off. Oh well, it was cool, but the world's never gonna see it. Well, I was wrong because we found it and we have put together a full vlog for you. But here's the best part, you ready for this? You guys know that we started uh, taking YouTube a little bit more seriously, like last October, right? And since then, I think you guys would agree that our vlogs and our editing and our videos and everything have been stepping it up every single video that we release. We feel like we're getting better and better. And the comments reflect that as well. Well, what you're about to watch was filmed last April. So this, in theory, would have been our very first attempts at a vlog. So you're going to witness a lot of us not really knowing what we were doing other than just rolling on everything. So guys, keep in mind as you're watching this, the progression. This video is all about progression and how far we've come, but it's also all about a super cool adventure that we went on and it shows you that even as far back as last April, we were ready to take vlogging series again and then COVID hit and well, kind of slowed things down. So anyways guys, with that said, give you a little disclaimer, enjoy the show. All right, so here's the deal. I'm gonna go buy an old houseboat and transform it into a cattle hauling, tractor hauling barge to get to our island in the middle of the Great Salt Lake. There's a sandbar, there's a helicopter, so we can drive, we can fly. Now it's time to go by water. I've been looking for the right boat for the job for quite a while. You gotta realize the Great Salt Lake is nasty. It will literally destroy anything you throw at it really quickly. So I didn't want to find something too nice because it was just going to get destroyed. But at the same time, it's got to be big, heavy duty and cape. Found an old houseboat on KSL. One of the very few houseboats that's actually made out of steel, which steel isn't great for salt, but it's good for the rocks and stuff that we're, I know we're going to run into. So I'm going to go with steel. So this bad boy right here is going to be coming home from Lake Powell with us. Now the issue is this boat is 40 feet long 14 feet wide. Legal limit is like 10 feet wide. So we're gonna be way, way over width. Taking a huge gooseneck trailer, taking my six by six, taking my dually, taking a skid loader, and taking literally every tool that I have um, to go dismantle this thing because I know it's gonna be A, too tall. I know it's gonna be too wide. So we're gonna have to uh, shrink it down and then run some oversized load signs and see what happens. So it's down at Bullfrog Marina at Lake Powell, about a five, uh, five hour drive from here and i know it's going to be a full like fiasco when we get there to get this thing loaded so we're leaving tonight so the first thing tomorrow morning we get to the marina and get this thing loaded up because from what i understand the marina where it's at it's in dry dock apparently the guys who are storing it have zero interest in helping the guy that is selling it to me load it so that means we're on our own which is why we're bringing a skid loader and a bunch of other stuff so we'll see what happens i mean it's five grand so i feel like a good roll of the dice because if i get it back here and drop it in the great salt lake and i'm able to load tractors and cattle on it and take them over the island that's a win howdy howdy what are we looking for some chain binders we used to have some binders what'd you do the binders alec where are the binders not telling don't trip over that watch out Made you look. Yeah. I wish okay. We found some new Thanks, ones. Buds. Couldn't find any nice new ones. Bud had new ones all tucked in nice and safe in there. Not even any grease on them yet. Oh. No. Almost feel guilty. She's looking like she's about ready to party. Tell you this uh, 450 with that triaxle tilt deck trailer, literally the best pulling combo 
I have ever felt in my entire life. I can't even feel that trailer back there. All right, so first fuel stop of the trip. And fun fact, I love gas stations, travel centers, truck stops. Look at this place. This is like a full-blown Walmart. And what's really eerie right now, actually pretty great for us as, uh, as truckers, the roads are pretty much empty. Am I recording? My fingers are on the screen, so I didn't know. This is the guy that holds the camera most of the time. Now I'm doing his job, I guess. It's not bad. It's a good guy. What are you doing? I'm going the back. No, it's no. I'm in job security. Flirt with me. Uh, anyways, the roads right now are just crazy yep. empty. It's actually pretty great, right? Yeah. Burnout's driving the uh, six by six with the big old gooseneck. Probably trade places here once we get the boat because 14 foot wide is going to be a handful. So I'll probably drive that load. Anyways, looks like the restaurant's closed. What was I looking for? Oh, deaf. Deaf, deaf, deaf. Hey, go, buddy. You want your job back? Yeah. Job security, please. Job security. If you realize how easy it is, I won't have a job. Classic walk, huh? Want to grab a walk? Does it come with chips or just guac? I think it's just guac. Guac. Well, this way. <laughs> so they break even on the guac, but they sell they you on make, the chips. Yeah, they get you on the chips. That's where they make the real money. That's what they call a doorbuster. If I buy you this pickle, will you eat it? No. What if I say you have to? Tapatio flavor pickled. Oh. I think, I think the reason you have hired me is because you know. Spicy. I'm very stubborn, so I won't. I won't eat it. I'll turn it. I'll turn in my badge and my gun. <laughs> Don't turn in your badge and your gun yet, man. It's not worth it. Just power through it. No, I want you to get it. Yes, sir. <laughs> Fantastic. Are you guys packing? I was thinking that same thing. We probably should load up over here. Dang. It's got a whole aisle of slingshot ammo. Uh, yeah. I mean, you never know when you come across Goliath, you know? Uh, shit. Stop playing with shit. Poodoo's. Poodoo splash bumpers. What is what has happened? What is that? Why is the poop yellow? Is that, a, is that after <laughs> is that after panda? Or? That's after the top of tea pickle. <laughs> oh, These are so fun. Yeah, yeah, they're so weird. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Hey, you wanna bite? <laughs> is it food? It's a banana. It's not is food. it food? Well he asked if I want to bite. Uh, you're more welcome to try it. I'm definitely buying these for the kids. You don't want me to buy the pack of bananas? This actually might work as like some good uh, tight ass. Oh, stars. mega surprise eggs. You're not, you have to get them a go. Oh, good call. I'm a sucker for the roadside trinkets. You guys don't want any? No, that's yeah, true. Oh, the law, man, dude, this thing's a, this thing's a multi, multi shooter. I feel like, I feel like yeah, Matt's more of a nine mil, though. I feel like he's always tucked with a nine minute. No, Bo, Bo's the thug. Max the law man. Um, I need this and then some death. Oh, What's that? Sorry, can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me how deaf I am? One hour later. Sorry, <laughs> guys. How are you doing this? Egg down. I think you just grab egg down. Girls' presents. Well, Easter's yeah. coming up, man. Yeah. Uh, no, I got Mac of the Lawman, and can you give me a few producer? Okay, that will be one thirty-eight ninety-four. I mean, probably better have one of these. Kill me right now. He just spent came in here for bucks at a gas station. I came in here for a jug of death. It's supposed to be like 15 bucks. I and I convinced you to buy a bunch of guns for your kids. $150 later because you're a bad influence. And my kids are all going to be super pumped. See? I'm a good influence. Are good influence. To infinity and beyond! 
Are you ready for me to eat this pickle? Yeah. With Mr. Van Holten? There's a lot of juice inside this pickle bag. You have to drink all the juice. Yeah, that's the thing. You have to just like that juice before you get to touch the pickle. Yeah. You drink the juice before you eat the yeah, pickle? Yeah, you have to. That's a rule. Then if you don't finish your pickle, you got a dry dog pickle? <laughs> you got a cucumber again all of a sudden. Wait, it was definitely refrigerated. But no refrigeration needed. Yeah. Only bitches refrigerate if you need to cool down the top of teal. That's a little kick. So they assumed the bitch would be eating this. Yeah, or they, they give you the cool opportunity to warm it up if you want. Should we wait for a while and let it warm up? No, I need to go for it. Get a nice little oh, warm of tap of teal pickle. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Oh no, no. You did not just pickle the seats of my 450. <laughs> oh, I got a pickled platinum. You got a pickled <laughs> platinum. right out of your hand like it was running from you. <laughs> you got the whole dog in your mouth? Oh, so just pickle juice. It's straight pickle. Oh. It's, it's not bad, man. It's really bad. It's all the way upside down. <laughs> I make sure every drop gets out, too. I haven't tried getting it back out. This is so bad. You pickled so, my seats! No, no, best part is, I pickled the underneath <laughs> of the seats. It's not on the seat. It's in the whole, the forever hole. So it's just gonna seat back here to me and Jim. We're gonna have swishy socks. Turn the seat heater on. <laughs> Cook that. Cook it. Dry it out. Pickle out my seat. I'm so glad you were looking at me when that happened. <laughs> you did all the ass I just went. <laughs> and how did it get upside down? I don't know. A lot of juice in there? Black out the camera. <laughs> Grace of evidence. Oh, it's, it's upside down. <laughs> Every drop is out. You oh. my seat! Hey man, whatever's right here, at least it's my jacket that it spilled on. That's my backpack. Yeah. Start cleaning. Oh, nice. Start cleaning. It's it's all the way empty. There's no more just <laughs> <laughs> oh. I drink most of it. Hey, the good part is it didn't get on any of the weather tech. Nice. Good. good. So it got right <laughs> in Rubber the liners. It got on the carpet and hey. on Dave's jacket. Yeah, most of it's on my jacket. <laughs> it how, did, how did that happen? I wasn't paying attention. It just jumped out of his hand. Don't bother. I feel like there was so much focus on that. How did how did you let that get out of control? <laughs> took my eyes <laughs> off it for literally. Freaking like Three video camera. I saw Everybody's talking eye. about it. It just jumped out of his hand. Whole watching the whole bag. Just the just whole the bag. bag. Just he was the bag. eating the pickle. Like the bag slipped out of his hand. And the smell in here is just <laughs> heavy right now. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's like Doritos it's Cool Ranch mix. Room, you just towed it my truck. That's a, <laughs> that's a salvage title yeah, all day. Call, call your insurance agent. I'll give you 15 for it. Oh, let me double that dollars. <laughs> You're doing it. <laughs> He's really oh. doing it. <laughs> Get that rack down. Now. I feel like all that's gonna do <laughs> is just spread make more further. pickle juice. Oh no! How could you do that to me? Well, I brought a new truck. I would love to like maybe stop, pull over, work on it. What's gonna happen when I put a stranger in here? And they're not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to explain the pickle juice thing, and they're gonna instantly think that, oh, this guy's got the. Pull over and see if we can trade the burnout on our trucks. This guy's got pickle <laughs> Just stop and make it, make them trade us Wait. trucks. It had to have gotten on the the mat. Definitely on the mat. We're safe. Really? I'm not safe. I'm in the lake. <laughs> You're in the lake of water now. I'm trying to figure out. Quit, quit filming! So, driving uh, down here in the middle of nowhere, central Utah, and uh, I realized that we weren't going to make it to the boat at a decent hour and we didn't want to sleep on the side of the road so got ourselves little cabins little honeymoon cabins right here look at this got a duke's rv duke's slip rock rv campground so let's uh hop in here take a look at it huh, not bad look at this it's cozy and nice what do you think alec i love it you happy about that Real wood. I think we could celebrate our honeymoon in here. In fact, this looks almost identical to the place where Ashley and I did celebrate our honeymoon. It's really nice. I'm okay with that. 
It'll do for three or four hours of the sleep. Gotta get up early and go get that boat loaded. <laughs> wow! Hey, did you did you jump onto your bed like me? <laughs> Break your back? Whoa. How come you're not sinking? <laughs> oh, come on! Oh, I didn't try the beds yet. Oh, they're memory foam. I just gotta warm up. Yeah. Oh, that, <laughs> like, nice. that, that looks like a very comfy bed. <laughs> just crap. Probably back. All right. Man, I got my own room, but I might want to share beds with you. Look We're going to tell a lot of jokes in here. <laughs> <laughs> just a giggle room. Wait, hold on. I'm going to go get my bed. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Get back down there. We got to get the thumbnail. Cabin. Both of you guys smile. <laughs> Put your you phone the, down. Did okay, you say the giggle on. academy? <laughs> 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 only only 6,000 person. Uh, only 6,000 dollars in the head. <laughs> nice. About three new cabins. Why are they all in one? <laughs> Wait, who put the sign on the front that says Giggle Academy? <laughs> Did they make their own sign? What's the first thing you notice when you look at the ceiling? That huge gap. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> <That's> all I can see. I thought we were buy there. other rooms. I did wonder the same thing. What do you want carpet like in here for? Throw the carpet. Uh, uh, someone might have dropped a spicy pickle. This guy turned his Tapatio pickle, pickle juice <laughs> bottle upside down in my seat crack. Had the last, <laughs> had the last bite in the bag. <laughs> the bag, the Houdini, threw my hand. The bag just pieced Upside out. down and into the gap. But, but don't you worry about his carpet. It all soaked up into my socks. Oh. <laughs> and and my jacket. Yeah. So. We got it good. Don't worry, guys. When I smell like a tapatio pickle tomorrow. You'll know why. Somebody, somebody took a hit right by my truck. I was right on the ground. Just, I'm not I'm talking like a, like a 12 incher. From between 2 a.m. and now 6 a.m., somebody had somebody got a bone. I bet you know. I bet it was a late camper. A camera that we woke remember up. Remember when we were like, let's steal those guys' bikes. Yeah, yeah. So, you know what? That makes actually a lot of sense now. <laughs> Damn, we should have been more quiet. Or we should have followed through with our threat. <laughs> now we're Did the they fall through? <laughs> yeah, they, they, this, is, this, is, this is a message. There was no paper towels or anything. <laughs> no, this is a message for sure. <laughs> Intentional. <laughs> what kind of piece of <laughs> shit? Is this guy walking around with just... No. <laughs> Cheeks. That's what we, what's what we just said. This is a straight death threat. <laughs> we gotta get out of here. What? Now. <laughs> well, at least it's a pooper scoop station. Like, they could have done it over there in the grass. We grab the bag. Hunter? Oh, wow. It's a log. That <laughs> is. I mean, I'm not impressed. I am. <laughs> That's like... <laughs> on the ground right by my truck. Jim's gonna... Look at that wonder log right there, you see it? I can see it from up here. Jim's gonna hate getting in the truck today. Don't pull up, no matter what. From last night's adventure. I'm pretty sure somebody dropped that off. Who, what kind of homeless bum would do such a thing in the middle of the night? That Did one, that one in cabin eight. You get it out of... Front of cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> Might have been you on accent. Shot out like a torpedo. <laughs> Pickle bag. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, someone's butthole exploded. How fresh? That's that's Did no that's no more than four hours. But I want to see if it's still warm. No. Touch it. You put a thermometer on it. <laughs> Let me grab my my field thermometer. Other people's poop is the worst. Even when it's your own kids, but that's a, that's a, a human, big log. That's a human log. That's not a human, that's a, that's a man's log. <laughs> There's another alpha male wandering around out here who's fully relieved, looking for a fight. Why the burnout? Oh yeah, burnout. You know, he, he pointed it out to us. Who smelt it, dealt it. Yep, yep. And now he's, now he's in the over-exaggerated. Oh, it's terrible. terrible. <laughs> what kind of handsome man would do that? <laughs> I'm so mad that someone put that right there. I'm gonna run for it. Don't run it over. Those are legions. <sighs> Man. 
no. No, no, no. No, oh! <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't gross till now. It wasn't gross till now. That was a bear. Oh, it's still on there. It's still on there. Oh. Got a bug in the tire, don't we? <laughs> it looks like you. Ugh. No, it was total death to the pickle juice last night. Between the, between the pickle juice fiasco and now somebody sh** on my truck, I gotta, I gotta make a claim real quick. <laughs> Salvaged. Salvaged, 100%. That's yeah, a fun. that's an actual vessel. Yachts of fun. fun! Ah, yachts of fun, we found it. And that, that thing looks like yachts of fun. <laughs> that thing. We right, did we it! We down to uh, Bullfrog Marina here in Lake Powell, and uh, we found old yachts of fun. I'm ready to have yachts of fun. The boy that we're taking home. You home I think I called it a girl in my last place. I don't want to be able to check the gender. I don't want to assume it's gender. So. Uh, that boat right there. I'm gonna go on that trailer right there. What? You ready for this, Hunter? Yes. Hunter's seen. What are you seeing right now? <laughs> Is that just what all your dreams are made of? Uh huh. That's nice, uh -huh. right? I'll tell you what, I think we're gonna cut the top off of that bad boy if you want it. <laughs> yeah, this, is, this yeah. is gonna be an interesting. We're gonna use the uh, bobcat there, pick this up, put some beams under it. Things are gonna get real sketchy here in a minute. Ahoy, matey. Hey, get out of there. Ahoy, matey. All right, selfie time. So this is the uh, this is the vessel, Yachts of Fun. See, this area I don't really care about the whole uh, the whole inside because this is probably gonna get ripped out so we could put uh, cattle on here. Man, this is a this is a great platform though. This is just. That's how we get help. That's yeah. You don't don't ring, don't ring, Yeah, we don't need help. We haven't had service yet. Ring bell if you had access. It's gonna be interesting. Service. I thought that's how you got service. Tailgate. Lots of room for activities on this bad boy. This is a nice craftsman bar stool. What do you think? Everything you've ever wanted and more. And more. If you could have any one of these boats, which one would you take? That one right there. That yellow one. Really? That's actually a boat. Well over. That's that's my real. You say well over. <laughs> well over. It's gotta be. Or, I, well, I'm cutting all that top off anyway. I guess. Well, yeah. All that come off. All the handrail. All the buckets. Everything up top there. If we can go down to the roof, we're good. If not, we'll cut into the roof. Here's to this roof. Is that the roof you're talking about? Hold it so it's kind of maybe eyeball it. To, to level with my roof? Where your roof's gonna be? You're pretty close to there. You're right probably there. about four inches high. Ten foot six. Easy. Yeah, let me see. Easy, easy. Send her up. All the way to the top? I'll just, I'll reverse it and then you'll know exactly how far it is. Reverse. Yeah, measure from, measure from your roof to right here. Yep. got to the carpet 80, 80 and a half inches 80.5 yep okay Let's drop it down no, I wanted I wanted to pinch your fingers <laughs> <laughs> oh what <laughs> you can't tell me about pinching my fingers and throw a flailing <laughs> tape at me <laughs> trying to avoid unloading the bobcat because well, I guess we're, we're uh, lazy <laughs> and the trailer the way the boat was sitting in here it was pretty much right at the exact height for us to be able to drive the gooseneck under in fact if we had a shovel we could have shoveled out a couple of ruts and probably made it right underneath this thing so we're pretty close right now we're just using the 
I draw a dovetail of the trailer to lift it up and uh, we might get lucky and just get this thing loaded like way quicker than expected. Then we gotta chop the roof off because we're way too tall, but that's another story. loaded that whole thing without having to unload the skid loader which is pretty awesome because had that thing come off the trailer there would be a guaranteed at least a minimum of four new holes in the side of that boat just from the forks forking around you know what I mean all right so here's where we're at houseboat is loaded on the gooseneck trailer now you got to remember the trailer is 40 feet long by 8 feet wide houseboat is 40 feet long by like 14 feet wide so we're really really wide but we got to chain down good I'm actually pretty excited about this load. The last thing we gotta do is check measurements to make sure that we're like not too tall for like freeway overpasses, power lines, cause that sucks. So if we're anything over like 14 feet, we're gonna have to start trimming that roof down. So we'll see what that looks like. But uh, next stop, the shop, we're gonna sandblast it, tear it down, turn this bad boy into a cattle hauler, which will then end up in Gray Salt Lake. It'll be fun. smell on a boot. It smells like a turbo boot. It smells like an old stinky boot. Did you uh, take your boots off? Oh man. <laughs> split the boot in half. Did the boot sploot and boogie. <laughs> oh man, the boot sploot and boogie. Sounds like we're about to take some naps. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, no, no, no. Uh, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, from from my angle, up. yeah. Well, you see America, fold me into the depths of Oh, hell. Man, that turbski is not happy. Now, there it is. Now you can see. See? I bet we can get that. See right there? Swap them, that area, that's a boot. They split apart and it's no longer together. Boot split and boogie. Well, there's only one thing to do in a situation like this. Come on, guys. I'll get us. I'll get us a boot. <laughs> we'll do it again. This is a this is a fairly common thing that happens when you tow huge loads on high performance trucks. You blow turbo boost lines. So problem is allegedly fixed. It's a uh, got a bit of a band-aid on it for now, but it should hold. Almost home. Man, that's been. I knew it was gonna be a trip. Every time we go do something like this, I mean, that's not an easy task. There's so many things that can go wrong. It's actually gone surprisingly smooth. And with the six by six, I knew that something might pop up just because that truck has like zero miles on it, untested. So that's what happens when you custom truck. See, I'm less excited about truck stop food on the way home because I've been eating it for a day now. I guess I can't complain. Sucker for good packaging. Aluminum bottles get every single time. Coronavirus is really pissing me off because all the snack bars and all the gas stations close until further notice. Worst. No, no, no. Hey. Drop it. Your turn. I forgot to get Charlie a gun. The eldest sister. Sir. Hey. Sir, man, you already chose your weapons. What do you mean? I don't know why you wouldn't go for it. It's got a sight on it. Oh, well, I'm getting it. I'm getting it for Good. Charlie. You're doing the right thing. All right. 
we're back to the shop. And next step, tear this thing apart. Basically, we just want a, we want a full flat deck on it, 14 feet wide, as long as we can get. And uh, that's what we're gonna put cattle on, and tractors, and cars, and razors, and really anything we can get on there. So I gotta see if I can track down another pontoon for the middle, just a little extra weight capacity. Rip that body off of it and go to town, so. Remember how a couple minutes ago I was like, yeah, so next time we're gonna be tearing it apart. Well, next time is right now, so depending on how, depending on how Alec cuts this, the same video, this might be a separate video. This whole assembly right here is going in the trash so that we just have a nice flat deck. However, there's some nice stuff on here that uh, the pack rat in me is not gonna let us just throw away. So some of the stuff, hang on to. Hunter's just ready to start cutting things, which is good. Hunter's ready. So uh, now it's time to turn it into a, uh, a barge. This is the part I've been looking forward to. This here is the list of things we're gonna keep, including Phoenixes. great value tissue. We got some lawn chairs, which are determined to break, like guaranteed within the first 30 seconds of somebody sitting on them. Um, some cookware, which is always important. We got some ropes and some hoses, little mini chair, um, big big boy driving chair. There's all kinds of treasures. Oh, oh, oh service before, records? Before oh. we can go anywhere, I got oh, yeah. a checklist. Hey, somebody fill out the checklist. Hold on, I got you this. Oh, the so. Yachts of Fun shareholders manual. You need to review that before you're allowed to drive. I'm going to review that. And fill this one out in triplicate, please. See, that's what I like about taking the roof off of stuff. It gives you the option. Do I want to throw it out the window or out the roof? It doesn't matter. It ends up in the same place. Oh, does that have another shareholders manual? Dude, get this out. Service manual. Oh, man. See? Well, sooner or you want to keep it? This pump was pulled from under stove because it stopped working properly. So, we kept it as a souvenir. Maybe we should go like that. Nice cutlery. chaos it was a fun adventure and we got the boat home and obviously you can tell that we were planning on continuing to shoot and then we never finished so the boat as diesel dave was just saying it wasn't working well that's because it's still in pieces these are the pontoons we got the boat back here and obviously we talked about using it as a cattle hauler to be able to move stuff back and forth from the island that i owned well as many of you guys know we sold the island last summer 
Um, it wasn't, we weren't really planning on it, but an opportunity came up, we sold it, and that left us with a barge that was halfway finished. So the reason why it never got finished was because it ended up being quite a bit more work than we were anticipating to be able to do it right. Now we could have taken the boat though after we stripped the house off the top of it and just put it on the lake and it probably would have worked decently, but we wanted to make sure this thing lasted forever. So these giant pontoons, we ended up completely reskinning. You can see this is, even though it's a little bit rusted, it's been sitting out here. This is new steel on the bottom of these pontoons to protect it and to make it structural again. Now this project is definitely not dead. It's just resting for a minute while we decide what we need a giant 40 foot by 15, 16, 18 foot barge for. Um, and when I say those widths, remember the boat started as 14 feet, but we decided that if we were gonna rebuild it, we might as well go big. So this boat's realistically gonna be closer to 18, 20 feet wide. It's gonna stay roughly the same length, but we want it to be able to hold the weight of like a 50,000 pound excavator, which means we have to build another pontoon for the middle of it, which means it's gonna need bigger engines, stronger deck. Basically, where we were going with the houseboat would have worked temporarily, but we want this thing to be a long-term solution to any sort of barging needs that we have. And if it's gonna go out on the Great Salt Lake, which it may or may not, these pontoons need to be bulletproof. This thing's gotta be coated inside and out so that salt water doesn't instantly destroy it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. And I hope more than anything, you can see the progress that we're making from way back then, where we just kind of kept the camera rolling on everything, and we had some good stuff, to now, we've got multiple camera angles, we've got drone shots, we've got GoPros, we've got better audio. Guys, we're taking this seriously. We are not slowing down anytime soon. Listen guys, I promise you that as we continue to release videos, that we are gonna make an effort to make each and every video that we release better than the last one. We're gonna make the content better, we're gonna make the editing better, and we're gonna make it a better viewing experience for you because you guys are awesome. You have given us such a warm welcome to YouTube. You've made us feel at home here. You've made us feel like family, and you have given us the motivation that we needed to get back on this platform and show you how we actually really live our lives. So thank you. Drop a comment below, let us know what else you wanna see. And also, oh, hey, almost forgot. Guys, we hit 750,000 subscribers. We're there. Within the next oh, video or two, we're gonna put together the winner announcement. But first, we gotta pick a winner. So we're gonna find a way to do that, film it, and you guys will see an announcement very soon. And one of you, since we haven't announced it or even picked the winner yet, one of you watching this is going to get the chance to come out here, pick one of my vehicles, and take it home. That's awesome. Buckle up, cross your fingers, stay tuned.